Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location you are tuned to our channel, thanks a lot for the visit. Trustcom uh, is a cooperative society collaboration with the government. Uh, it gives loan, gives grant, 5 million, 2 million, 3 million, 100,000, and you pay back instrumentally and uh, eases the stress. You know, so it's pioneered by some group of individuals alongside with the government in the grant community. Just listen to to one of their, their strong stakeholders speak. Then later we'll review that, we'll review that uh, Trustcom organization. You know, why we decided to front it is we have seen it and it appears legit. It's not like all those that have been scamming us all this way. So just listen to the, the breakdown of how it works. See on the other side. Hello, good morning, ladies and gentlemen in the grant ecosystem, senior citizens, members of the junior and the senior platform, NGO owners, cooperative CEOs, trustees and board members, cluster heads beneficiaries of different grants in the ecosystem. I welcome you this morning and I greet you specially you all know me already. My name is Engineer Brian Moses Higoche. Members and Chief Vision Officer of Trustcom Multipurpose Cooperative, GBB Live Chat, and Media Grooving. I want to say all of us jointly thanking God for what it is today and i need to appreciate everyone who has been going through a lot in the grand community because it's of no extent we say welcome to trustcom multipurpose cooperative trustcom union cooperative trustcom state apex trustcom primary cooperative trustcom Federation of the Federation Cooperative of Nigeria. It is my honor, my pleasure to say good morning to all of us once again. Trustcom Multipurpose Cooperative, you all know, targeted at empowering the people, helping the needy and the common businessman, private owners of business, cooperative CEOs, members of NGO and individuals in the grant community who are in their need of any assistance to be part of Trustcom Cooperative Society. It is a privilege to have members of the youth putting this together in partnership with the government, international organization, members of senior citizens who has interest in contributing to humanity. I appreciate all of you. I am going to be very brief on this message and it is important we're listening and listening keenly to whatever I will be telling you this morning. Trustcom is here to make a change. Every new members and senior citizen, those who have failed in the grant ecosystem, who have seen their mistakes, and could not come out openly, could not accept defeat or drag him more, more and more into mud. Everything in life has is expiring it. Today, Trustcom has come to its upright date, to the highest level of commitment, transparency, accountability, by putting a system in partnership with the government to ensure that the people that has been in the business of humanitarian are given a facelift and a soft landing in the government arena, in the international platforms, and also build the integrity that lost over the years. Most of the reasons why we are quiet and we are slow, because most of these regulations take time, even with the money inclusive, it has period. It must undergo a verification and it must be approved. Failure to do that will linger longer 
than doing the right thing. So bear with us in most of the policies and most of the slow of the processes that we are supposed to carry at once. It is not done in a day. I appreciate you all. The recertification of cooperative is a demand of the federal government to have an accurate data of cooperative registered in Nigeria operating under the Act of Cooperative 1998 stroke 19 to 2000. That all cooperatives must be registered duly and carry out the cooperative DNA, which is called the monthly due registration of member, which is the resource for the organization and the federal government and building the channel to carry on opportunities to the ordinary people in the grassroots environment. Which Truscom has key into it, perfected all the processes and have decided to be part of the government that will submit the data of the cooperative and NGOs that are registered duly under the humanitarian industry at different cadre to ensure that government can have accurate data of those who operate rightly under the arm of the law. We are carrying out a recertification personally on all NGOs that are working with us to avoid all this long verification, bring your file tomorrow, come next tomorrow, fly from Lagos and Abuja. No. Trustcom has planned in the 774 local government coordinators that are fully acquainted with information to carry out this verification in all the locations that your NGOs or cooperative might be registered most especially the cooperative owners. Trustcom is carrying out a background check, a full authentication medium to ensure that once your name is captured on that app and submitted to the database of the federal government, it is certified that you have been verified, you have been checked and all document is accurate. Having discovered that most of the cooperatives that are registered here in Abuja and most of the local government are just mere resort printed from cyber cafe for them to operate. And most of them have been involving themselves in an unlawful practice of the art of the cooperative, which affect the cooperative at the national level, the cooperative at the state level, and also at the primary level, affecting the cash flow from the system and to the end user. This Truscom has taken care of and has properly handled. And also for your information, the new minister for agriculture is interested in cooperative and is giving opportunity to all cooperative members and financial institutions that have support for agro-based to improve our agricultural sector, both raw and mechanized. Opportunities are there. Is a man full of strong heart to develop agriculture and change the narrative of our people towards the agro-based business. So what needed to be done is to ensure that all the cooperatives and data we are going to provide on this app is nothing by the truth. Please don't because of the pains that you have gone through and you are still going through and be adamant on this because as I know it is always the last child of the regret family. I want us to use this opportunity to meet up with them. The token or the equity they are demanding from you for recertification, for membership and for verification, and for also subscribe to the platform as a member of Trustcom Multipurpose Cooperative that is ready to carry out the full DNA and follow the fact according to government regulation is most welcome than any other intention. Like we have said, in the section we have several letters coming in that uh, primary people, uh, individuals should be given opportunity, but with a less amount, something should flow to the ordinary persons from what we are bringing in. We are considering that, and once that is considered, we are going to have another session of meeting. The ESCO and committee will decide on what to do. Trustcom does not op operate individualistic platform. We give opportunities to our members in the CIS zone, in all the cadres, to make decision if it is approved then we carry on the project. Please bear with us for any delay. From Monday morning, the customer care will resume fully in the office in Abuja here. The onboardment has commenced. Any changes if you're in Abuja, please visit the office and ask more questions. Every visitation, every call to anybody on this Trustcom onboardment is highly transparent and it's going to be video coverage. All processes are going to be online. 
from Monday, your project can start coming in. Individuals that have projects and maybe has not been able to onboard as primary cooperative or the union, please ensure to make a call to customer care services, the Abuja office and Lagos. And also lay your complaint and send in your proposal. The business unit will discuss with you privately. We are to provide solutions to indigenous problems. And youth that have sacrificed their time, that have joined the system, I welcome you all. Those who volunteer to work with us in the Texas system as our coordinators and business agents and also advertisement platform, I appreciate and I salute your courage for supporting a moving train and a dream come true for Nigerian people. By next week, operation fully started. The head of the operations will be announced, the app manager will be announced, the technical team will be announced, and customer care at the 6 zero political zone will be standby for you to lay your complaint. And please, as we go in, as fast as we move, the better it is. Whatever will be going out now to people is just little token and grant of between 100 and 500,000, 5 million, 15 million, and above are preferring as soon as the projects are coming up and we are liquidating the uh, long time expectation and we what we have nigerians will smile in long time i am sure that this message reached you well this morning and i believe that whatever we're doing we're doing it in the light of the day with the belief that we work together as family gbb is a family Transcom is a family, and the ecosystem is assumed to be family. The division is as a result of the disappointment and promises from different entities, we'll all understand. But with time, and with what Transcom is about to start in the life of Nigerians, and those onboarding from abroad, the diaspora platform, once you onboard, the technical team is already taking note of your country, your location, and what you intend us to do, either back home or abroad. Those laying complaints, it is quite appreciated. We are setting up the complaint commission with the Savicom, and we are going to be working with them. Your issue will be attended to at that international level. Nigerians be rest assured. We will keep trying. We will not because we started and we didn't complete, or we have not started, opportunity will come, we will not lose that. More and more people are joining us, other NGOs, partners, subscribers from different grants, Trust comes for everybody. It's not limited to one person. And as it is, we have opened up the platform for you people to join and make your complaint, call customer care services, and also report to them. From Monday next week, I'm very sure that our madam will be in the office and uh, every other person will be working right in the office. There will be no complaint. Ayama will be in the office for directing the media and taking Trustcom to the airspace. Every other person belongs to the family. Thank you and God bless you all. Have a very fruitful day ahead and we hope to see you on Monday as we move on to the next level.